As Jack grew up, he always felt like he was different from the other boys. While they enjoyed sports and rough and tumble play, Jack preferred quieter hobbies like drawing and reading. Unfortunately, this made him the target of teasing from his older brothers and cousins, who would mock him for being too sensitive or too girly. Even his own mother made comments about him needing to toughen up if he wanted to be taken seriously in life. At first, Jack tried to brush off the teasing and ignore the comments. But over time, the constant taunting wore him down. He felt like he was trapped in a body that didn't fit, and he didn't know how to escape. He started to question himself and wondered if there was something truly wrong with him. One day, Jack's curiosity got the better of him, and he snuck into his mother's closet to try on some of her clothes. He was fascinated by the way the high heels made him look taller and more graceful, and he felt a newfound confidence that he had never experienced before. He started to enjoy the way he felt when he was dressed up, and he didn't want that feeling to end. When his mother suggested they go shopping for a new dress for him, Jack was hesitant at first, but the excitement building up inside of him was too strong to resist, and he agreed to go. When they arrived at the store, he was in awe of all the colors and styles to choose from. His mother helped him pick out the perfect dress, a beautiful blue one with a full skirt and a bow in the back. When he looked in the mirror, he was amazed at what he saw. He looked like a completely different person, and he loved it. This was Jack's moment of discovery. He loved being dressed up as a girl, and he was going to enjoy every moment of it. He finally realized that he didn't have to conform to the expectations of others, and that he could be true to himself. So he decided to take things to the next level and embrace his new identity as a cross-dresser. Jack started experimenting with his mother's clothes, trying out different styles and looks. He found that he really enjoyed the process of getting dressed up and loved how it made him feel. One day, he came across a local cross-dressing community and was thrilled to find that there were others like him. He started attending their events and meeting other cross-dressers who were supportive and accepting of him. They taught him about makeup, fashion, and how to walk in heels. Jack felt like he had finally found a place where he belonged and was able to be himself without judgment. As Jack continued to explore his new identity, he became more confident and daring. He started to dress up more frequently, even venturing outside of his house in full cross-dressing attire. He found that the world was a lot more accepting than he had initially thought, and he received compliments and admiration from strangers. He was finally living life on his own terms, and he felt happy and fulfilled. Jack's mom was his biggest supporter, always encouraging him to be true to himself and embrace his love for cross-dressing. One day, Jack gathered the courage to go to a local cross-dressing meetup group. He was nervous at first, but as soon as he arrived, he felt a sense of belonging. He met other people who were just like him, and they welcomed him with open arms. They showed him new styles and gave him tips on how to make his outfits even better. Finally, Jack realized that he didn't have to be ashamed of his love for cross-dressing. He learned to embrace it and find confidence in his own skin. He stopped caring about what others thought of him and started living life. Jack had finally found his true self through cross-dressing and was living his life with a newfound sense of confidence and freedom. He no longer felt ashamed of who he was and was proud of the person he had become. With the support of his mother and his community, he continued to explore his love for cross-dressing and became more and more daring in his outfits. As time went on, Jack's confidence grew and he began to experiment with more daring looks. He would wear bold colors and patterns and even started wearing high heels regularly. He learned to walk confidently in them and loved the way they made him feel taller and more elegant. He also started wearing makeup more often and learned how to apply it to accentuate his features. Jack's love for cross-dressing even spilled over into his professional life. He started dressing up in feminine outfits to work, and surprisingly, his colleagues were supportive and accepting of him. He received compliments on his outfits, and some even asked him for fashion advice. Jack realized that people were more accepting than he had initially thought, and that being true to himself was the best thing he could do. In the local cross-dressing community, 
Jack became a role model for others who were struggling with their own identities. He was always willing to lend a listening ear and offer advice to those who needed it. He helped others to embrace their love for cross-dressing and to find the confidence to be themselves. Jack found a sense of purpose in helping others and was proud of the impact he was making in the lives of those around him. Through his journey of self-discovery, Jack learned that being true to oneself is the key to happiness. He found his passion in cross-dressing and embraced it with open arms. He learned to ignore the negative comments of others and instead focused on the positive feedback he received from those who supported him. Jack's story serves as an inspiration to others who may be struggling to find their true selves, and he remains a shining example of confidence, bravery, and self-love.